Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we tell you how the Ottoman Empire was carved up. The partition of the Ottoman Empire, the 30th of October 1918 to the 1st of November 1922, was a geopolitical event that occurred after World War I and the occupation of Constantinople by British, French and Italian troops in November 1918. The partitioning was planned in several agreements made by the Allied powers early in the course of World War I, notably the Sykes-Picot Agreement. After the Ottoman Empire had joined Germany to form the Ottoman-German Alliance, the huge conglomeration of territories and peoples that formerly comprised the Ottoman Empire was divided into several new states. The Ottoman Empire had been the leading Islamic state in geopolitical, cultural and ideological terms. The partitioning of the Ottoman Empire after the war led to the domination of the Middle East by Western powers such as Britain and France, and saw the creation of the modern Arab world and the Republic of Turkey. Resistance to the influence of these powers came from the Turkish national movement but did not become widespread in the other post-Ottoman states until the period of rapid decolonization after World War II. The sometimes violent creation of protectorates in Iraq and Palestine and the proposed division of Syria along communal lines is thought to have been a part of the larger strategy of ensuring tension in the Middle East thus necessitating the role of Western colonial powers, at that time Britain, France and Italy, as peace brokers and arms suppliers, for, the League of Nations mandate granted the French mandate for Syria and the Lebanon, the British mandate for Mesopotamia, later Iraq, and the British mandate for Palestine, later divided into Mandatory Palestine and the Emirate of Transjordan, 1921 to 1946. The Ottoman Empire's possessions in the Arabian Peninsula became the Kingdom of Hejaz, which the Sultanate of Naid, today Saudi Arabia, was allowed to annex, and the Mutawakilite Kingdom of Yemen. The empire's possessions on the western shores of the Persian Gulf were variously annexed by Saudi Arabia, al Asa and Katif, or remained British protectorates, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Qatar, and became the Arab states of the Persian Gulf. After the Ottoman government collapsed completely, its representatives signed the Treaty of Sevres in 1920 which would have partitioned much of the territory of present-day Turkey among France, the United Kingdom, Greece and Italy. The Turkish War of Independence forced the Western European powers to return to the negotiating table before the treaty could be ratified. The Western Europeans and the Grand National Assembly of Turkey signed and ratified the new Treaty of Lausanne in 1923, superseding the Treaty of Sevres and agreeing on most of the territorial issues. One unresolved issue, the dispute between the Kingdom of Iraq and the Republic of Turkey over the former province of Mosul, was later negotiated under the auspices of the League of Nations in 1926. The British and French partitioned Greater Syria between them in the Sykes-Picot Agreement. Other secret agreements were concluded with Italy and Russia. 5. The Balfour Declaration encouraged the international Zionist movement to push for a Jewish homeland in Palestine. While a part of the Triple Entente, Russia also had wartime agreements preventing it from participating in the partitioning of the Ottoman Empire after the Russian Revolution. The Treaty of Sevres formally acknowledged the new League of Nations mandates in the region, the independence of Yemen, and British sovereignty over Cyprus.